We have new computers in the Media Center. We're running Windows 8. It's going to be a little bit different when you sign in. You're going to turn the computer on and it's going to look like this. You can touch any key. It should bring you to a login screen. If you've been on the computer before, your name will appear. If not, you'll have to click Other User. Just like the old logins, you're going to put in your username for the network. In my case, it's last name, first initial, Google Yada G, my password. and sign in. If it's the first time you're signing in, you're going to get a bunch of screens that say it's setting up for you. You'll just have to wait through them. They're just colorful screens that say they're setting things up for you. Then you get your desktop. Your desktop is pretty familiar. Shortcuts. Um, the old start button's different. When you hit the start button, you get a bunch of apps that are available to you. You can always bring your mouse back to the lower left-hand corner to get back to your familiar screen. And uh, Google Chrome, we're pretty highly committed to Google Chrome. You'll sign in. If you already have a Google account, that's great. We also have network accounts at mcvts.net now. My password again. And uh, since it's a, sh a shared device, I don't like it to save my password. That'll be up to you. It shouldn't be a problem actually with different logins. Um, and I hope everybody's ready for this classroom.google.com. I set up uh, one class called Media Center Assistant, but haven't added any students to it yet. Um, when everyone starts using this, it will be amazing how much paperwork you will save. Forget about making copies for students. Forget about collecting papers. Uh, you will be able to have them access your assignments online. You'll be able to have them hand in assignments online and comment on set assignments um, right online 24-7. You'll be able to use the hundreds and hundreds of tools online to flip your classroom and present your information. It's a new age. I'll help you get into it. That is all for now. Signing out. See you all very soon. Oh, another thing I should show you, how to sign out of this machine. Back to your new version of the start button. Top right, there's my name. Click that. Sign out. Bye-bye.